Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Nest.js. Today we are going to learn about how to retrieve the profile information with the help of the token which we have generated in the last video. So we have already talked about the how to create, how to get the connection with the Postgres, register, login. Then we are going to get the profile information with the authentication part. So let's see how we are going to do that. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So here you can see that I have used the previous token. Okay, so here you need to add the token and here in the body part you need to just yeah, this is this is not required because it's a get request. Okay, so just remove this one and just send it and you can see that with the help of the just token just I have added the token right I am able to retrieve the profile information. Okay, so this is the use of the token that we can retrieve any information from that part right okay. So let's go to the dive into the code level. So here we have the auth controller where we have the profile information. This auth service dot profile which we require the user ID. Okay. So here we have the profile user ID get user by ID function is calling. <coughs> okay. But before that one, this is the process of the authentication that is the JW is doing that one. Okay. So before this, the use this one we are coming to the user repository where is auth guard so the token process so i will show you the token how it i have to here you can see that where we have to add the beard or the token so either the request headers or authorization if you are using then you can check that beard token so here you need to just go and select the beard token then here you need to pass the token then it will do the extraction of that one right so here if, if the token I am not adding, suppose uh, I have just added this one and we are not adding this one. Control X. Okay, and send it this one. So it will show you that this unauthorized, right? So you need to add this token at any cost to get the user information, right? That is the JWT rule, right? So <clears throat> this is how we are able to get the profile information of the user with the help of the JWT SS token. Any doubt, any query in that, let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day. Don't forget to like, share and comment on my video. Have a nice day.